Guys, I think that's a jackpot. Come on. I say I'm the word excited because how often do you find over 500 of these in one binder, let alone. Ahoy, mateys! It is I, your captain speaking. Let's go find some treasure. Yo ho! Sail the seven story seas, most men would never try it. But you know it's best if you never mess with storage auction pirate. Subscribe! Pirates of all ages, what is up? It is I, it's your captain speaking. It is a Saturday morning. No, I'm lying. It's a Sunday morning. Sunday morning. Better day for picking. Flea market's twice as big. It's usually only this staff on Saturday, two sides on Sunday. So we are getting ready to go. Not to mention, God, we don't get to be here very long. Today's my dad's celebration of life. Sadly, we must go and uh, celebrate his life. So we're gonna come here, pick, because that's what we do. You never know, unless you come get it. If you come out here thinking, uh, if you don't come out here, then you hear about it later. Like, yeah, so-and-so got a bazillion dollar load and he paid nothing. That's why you get up. It's the job, it's the thrill of the hunt. It's the fun, it's the chase. Sure turned a bat. It's like, uh, I don't know, calling and sick to work. That's what it's like now coming here. We're gonna make this quick and efficient. Thank you. I was trying to eye this guy's spot. I'm looking for, I don't know, like, I like to find a million dollars today. I think that's a fair goal. I want to find a million dollars. I don't really want to spend over 200 bucks. Right there, that's like my, that's my, that's my rock, my base price of what I want to spend on my million bucks. So we're going to go look for a million dollar item. Price point, 200. Profit margin, infinity. And see what we could do. So, first row, usually the worst row. This is like the, the most everyday stuff, same things, etc. cetera. So don't usually shop this row, but we're gonna like take a beeline down the middle. This guy's got a lawnmower. No, it's a tank. No, it's a lawnmower. The barbecue. Ego. I don't like it just cause it's called Ego. I like this. It's a bad name. It's a little khaki. Vasmillion the Vio. Yeah. Chainmail Miniature Games. Good morning, John. Good morning, sir. Anything good yet? Not here. I just got here, though. Oh, you do? Give it to me. I thought you were going to come out of my house. Uh, I went to Bingo. Mmm, Bingo is more important than my house. Okay. Well, my mom wanted to go Bingo, so I went. What's this for again? Uh, the cards. Nice. Uh, how much is this one? I can't break it. I just I sold the backpack for 10 bucks. How much is it? And he gave me 20. I think they might like it. I have to take out. Oh, the... no, no, I got you now. Got you. Yeah, I don't know. My bad, my bad. Yeah. I don't even know how I took it out to the store like that. How much you want for just the hat? A buck? Bro, five bucks. Five bucks? You said a buck? Bu There's a receipt in there. No, it's this. I gotta yeah, remove I this. One this, one, this one has the gel pack. <laughs> nice. Minecraft. Ben, Benji gave me this for the girls. That's pretty tight. Oh yeah, I forgot. One. All right, here's the one problem. When you sit and talk too long, everybody else shops. That's what I was thinking to myself. Oh man, he's gonna get all. Somebody else gonna get all the good stuff while we're here, busy talking. But he did give us this. We'll give this to Evie. Look at the Tiger King today over here. Hell yeah. You got, you got any silver today? There you go. I do coins, that's it, but nothing no wrong silver. Hey. Good morning, sir. What do you got? A couple of things. You got a bank bag, I think. I'm gonna be nosy and see what this guy's some, got. Some Car stereo. Coins. A wood. Oh, what kind of coins? These are LED lights for the trailer. Oh, I thought they were. It looked like a car stereo, didn't it? It does, huh? <laughs> what kind of coins oh, you yeah. got? Look, check that out. 
They're all different ones, just the color commemorative. Oh, they're painted. I uh, see what you're saying. How much you pay for them? Uh, seven bucks a piece. That's not bad. Yeah. Do you get sell them online or something? Probably. Yeah. Coins are hot it's right not. now. This is a weird way to park. What's up, man? Man. Good, sir. How you doing? How you doing? Mm. How much are the cards? How much are the cards? Ma'am? Yeah. How much are the cards? Depends on which, which cards. That is 10. Like for example this. No, 10. Sorry. This one right here. Some of them are marked, okay? Okay, so, they buy the card? Uh, yeah, they are. Alright, um, thank you. It's five for a dollar. So. You're not selling them by the box, you're saying? I am. Depends which box. Oh, you, oh, you I did ask me about Yeah, like just for example, how this much? This is a, a, you know, pricey box. It's got a lot of stars in it. Um, I would say 25 for this, for this, which is a really... Do you have any like in hard plastic, some like high dollar ones or ones um, worth grading? Here's the dollar for the okay. nail. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm trying to remember if I, I do, but they're in there and I got to wait to them. What's up, Mike? What's up? How you doing? Uh, you selling today? Can you some mm hmm You collect them? Um, I'm just, I get them if they're a good deal, but it just depends. Real cheap. Uh, welcome to my world. That's why I don't sell here anymore. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's tough market here. How much are these ones? Um, again, if they're marked, they're, it's half of what they're marked. All right. Is there a price on this binder? And if there's no price, it's a dollar. Okay, do you have a price on this binder? Oh, the whole thing? No, I, I haven't had a chance. I, I knew I should have done that. I haven't had a chance to do that. Oh, it's a... Yeah. Uh, one, one twenty-five. Oh, black Thank you. Yeah, she's waiting for her to give me a price on that. She seems to be all over the map here. How much for the one binder and those two rows I asked about, the two boxes? Um, I'm, I'm not going to sell the binders yet because I haven't had a chance to look at it. So which one do you want? That I wanted that binder and this one and that box, but if you know, I'm not selling the whole binder. That box, whatever I said already. Um, yeah. I think I said 25. There's a lot of high dollar, like this, this one. A lot of, a lot of expensive cards in here. Box. I don't doubt you. Okay, it's which box? Yep. I think the one your hand is on. Whoa. Oh, this is another good box. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I see 50 for both. All right. Wow, five, 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 five. That's a deal. I'm trying to buy that one. She won't give me a price on that one. No, I haven't had a chance to look at it. it it's gonna. It would be a lot. Well, I mean, like, I like, like to hear an idea. I'm not. I would say like 300. That's your opinion. Ah. This is all autographs. Yeah, I, I mean, get they're it. They're commons, but. I understand. What's your asking for? I was asking 25. It does work. Um, it's just that his neck is. If you move his jaw. I should take it off then. Yeah, there you go. It's a ventriloquist. Oh, the whole thing? Yep. The whole thing is 50. 
Yeah, they do work the battery is dead. It's so old. I don't know what's going on inside the battery. I don't know. You know, it's never been opened. That if you want to buy it and don't open it, it's okay. Otherwise, it may be, you know, rotted. I was asking a hundred. I changed my mind. Think about it. Go away, think about it, come back. Can I give you 350 for these three and this one? Uh, no, not this one. That's... Well, you said 300 oh. and 25 each, so I'm just asking for 25 less. I just said 300. You said 25, 25, 25. So. Wow, that's... Yeah. No one else here is going to buy them like that from you. Yeah. They're all going to um, want just one car at a time, as you can you, see how they raped this, probably, and stole something. Yeah, well, that's why I didn't put the good stuff out. Oh, you have better stuff? Well, I have some 67. 60s and 70s? 67. Oh. 1960. I mean, to me, that's good stuff. No, you're right. That's good stuff. All right. It's a deal. You talked me into it. See, that wasn't hard. Do you have change for 100? I see. Yes. And may I, hey, good morning. And may I see your 1967s, please? Um, I want to wait until I can walk, you know, right. watch them because people, whoa. What is this? Whew, the girls will like this. What is that? Oh, it's a piece of candy. Would uh, you like one? Uh, no, thank you. Good morning. How you doing? This nice lady over here I've never met just gave me a bag of candy. All right, that was kind of cool. I just spent 350 bucks on that lady's stuff, but I'm very, very happy with my purchase. Good morning, how you doing? Good. Doing well. I just bought all those dolls. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know, I have to look for my sister. Oh, you don't sell them too? No, I'm more, I'm mostly um, on clothing and uh, purses and... Oh, okay. Nice. See you later. Adult magazines, can't look there. Any gold, any diamonds? No, do you have any? No. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys just move spots? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I was gonna say, it was, was weird quick, when you guys uh, were over there. Yeah, we got our spots over here. Yeah, you can't hint until after seven. You have a YouTube channel? Yeah. yeah. What kind Already? of GoPro is that? Oh, uh, it's a GoPro like, channel. Uh, you said, how much you say that was? Five bucks. Right. That's a replica shirt. Oh, I don't want it. I'll get you. You don't want thing. it? No, not if it's a replica. You You're go. gonna resell it's five it? Five bucks. Oh yeah, naturally I'm gonna resell. That's what I do. Oh, uh, oh, you resell it. How much do you think it was? Uh, I really don't. Good. I don't even know nothing about that brand. I asked you that. Know the name? I mean, I know it's expensive, but I don't know like the value. So last week I got a pair of sweats for my girlfriend that were real for a buck here. Some lady sold them, so. That's big you know, one. That would have been a hike a hundred on oh, eBay, but. Oh yeah, check it out, storage auction pirate. Thank you. All right, let's go. Okay, here is a sure sign. Again, the markets are dying. These are all the regular Sunday spots. Everybody here waiting. I mean, they're gone, they're not here. All the regulars are just coming out, coming more and more every month, every week. It's a slow progression, a time lapse. You guys are actually watching that time lapse happen in real life. With nobody coming here to the market. Did you ride it? Oh yeah, I rode it. But I sold it for two cheap. Good morning. Sir, you can't park there. I'm gonna need you to move. Hey. I'm the power here. Don't worry about it. What'd you buy? <laughs> Some sports cards. Miguel, what are you doing? Where you been hiding? Magic, card. Magic cards? I have the price is right, but I don't overpay for them. Huh? I said the price is right, but I don't overpay for them. So I have a box. If it's a good price, I buy it. You almost done at school or what? Yeah. 
My kids, my son graduates this month. And that's it. No more kids in school. How long you got? Like, well, this school year, like three more weeks. And then you got more school after that. What grade are you in? A ninth. Okay, you got a long way to go. I thought you were kind of a little longer than that. Or uh, older. That's good, though. Make sure you take a, uh, use it to the fullest advantage. Yeah. See you later. Good morning. Known that kid a long time. I don't know why. I thought he was a little bit older than that. <coughs> pool table legs. You don't see that every day. So looking for pool table legs today, too. I'm like, chill. Hey, Mike. Hey. Dang, I just bought a metal detector, too. How much is the money counter? About a hundred bucks. Remote underground metal it's search. Metal What's that? It's metal detector. This in itself is? Yeah, if you grab that little piece that's down there with it, that's the thing that you push it, it tells you what, you push the buds depending on what you want. If you look at, I think it, they're labeled. Okay. But oh yeah, copper, gold, and what you see is wear this. Yeah, you just push the button, and that you hold it, just hold it still, and it will spin and tell you which way to go. It will spin like if it turns, it was turned around in circles, and it will just you follow wherever it goes. So, oh, it's not on. I was gonna say it's telling me gold's over there. Yeah, if it was on, that's what it would be doing. Is it'd be circling and, tell, and telling you which way to go wherever there's the metal is at. Well, I'm just wondering if it's going to go to my necklace because I got a necklace and a gold coin on, so. But I don't have any idea. Weird. Never seen one of those. Yeah, they're kind of pricey. Google it, you'll see they're pretty pricey. Remote underground metal search instrument. I wanted to, I wanted to get, I got one of these the other day. I ordered one like that. and I, How much is it out of curiosity? I think it costs like. I mean, how much are you asking oh, for? I'm asking 100 bucks. All right. But it cost me, I think, close to 300. Do you, is there any type of uh, charger for it or no? I have the charger. Oh, you do? Yeah. You just got to put away? It's, it's in one of these buckets full of quartz. It's in here. Ah. Oh. And how much is this one? Those are one and a quarter. I paid a little bit more for them, but initially it was for me and my wife to go out and uh, metal tech, but we never had the time, never found the time to. So they just sat. Hmm. Handheld. Oh, you got all sorts of metal detectors. What's going on here? <laughs> I told you. I was just... <laughs> this might be handy if you're out there metal detecting the GPS. <sighs> oh, yeah. Can I see the charger for it? Yeah, I'd have to find it. It's in the charger button. Nothing. I think it's not. I have Omega. You you actually get a really good deal, believe it or not. You can turn around and sell it and still make money on it. I think I'll get it just because I want to try it out. At worst case scenario, I can resell it. You said fifty? Yeah. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> um, there you go. Thank you. Appreciate it. What's the name of your channel? Storage Auction Pirate. Storage. Mike, how you doing? Doing great. I only sell sometimes. I really do more like in the, the stock then. Your sister's following me around the flea market and she won't sell me her backpack. Heck no, I got this on the birthday gift last year. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She just bought me a new one. She I got me the, the, uh, the Bambi. Bambi one. They got a ton of them. We just went to the, what's it called? The, uh, Hot spot? No. Hot topic. Yeah, we go there because the girls like all the little toys there. They have a bunch of them there. Yeah, they made all these new characters. And they're not cheap. Oh, a lot of cars. Hey, that, yeah. 
So can no, but yeah, don't reach in there because it's wasting our time right now because you guys aren't gonna want to pay ten dollars for that. But I'll shine it up and be able to get ten dollars for it. I just I don't normally deal in jewelry, so I'm gonna put a ten dollar sticker on there right now so people put put their hands in there and take it out. I, look how much, I'm by myself, look how much work I got going on. Okay. It's all costume jewelry, there's no real gold everybody, okay? I don't have Alright, well, I definitely know I found some treasure in it, I've made money, that's the point. Picker's Warehouse, I guess he was scared, I haven't seen him yet. He'll go to pick off today. He's waiting until I buy everything and then we're going to do a pick off, I guess. Sir, have you seen Justin? Justin, no, I've seen oh. Justin, though. No. Oh, all right. He's supposed to have a picking off here, and I think he's scared of staying home in bed then. <laughs> what in the tarnation is this? It's a flow pro. Uh, oh, I just kicked your stuff. Oh, so, so far, we're not finding much stuff. It's a little dead here. Whatever you do, watch that guy right there. He has sticky fingers. Okay. Well, this is locked, so unless you take the whole thing. All this is mine. I've never been so. I'm the best. I gotta tell you, people like grab the, the good stuff. There's not much. Yeah, there. Not much left. And you sold the 60s cards? No. Oh, no. Not yet. That's what I came back for. Good morning, sir. How you doing? I do have 67, but I can't. I, I guess I could let you look. You promise not to take it. I'm not gonna steal anything. <laughs> I was just, I was just teaching. This is my friend, so I was giving him a hard time. I've never served a day. <laughs> it was once. Well, I gotta get a clip of pirate. You don't have to, and I'm gonna need to charge you. I didn't know JC had his own card. I guess he's the president and of uh, the team. So. Jay Z. Yeah, it's literally so Jay Z. Right. What happened to your car here? Did you hit a deer? A uh, can of paint on the bridge. Oh my god. It looks like I murdered someone. Yeah, it does. It looked like you hit a Caltrans deer. Caltrans paid for it. It's not what did they pay for it? The uh, two grand. Oh, wow. Well, there's a giant thing in the front. Okay, we got... Michael, real quick. Would you rather your only mode of transportation be a donkey or a giraffe? <laughs> a donkey or a giraffe? Personally, if I had to make my choice, I'd buy a camel. No, 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 you can only get a donkey or a giraffe. I'm walking. Would you rather uh, be able to be invisible or fly? Uh, I would rather be invisible. Would you rather fight 100... I'm like Peter Pan, I can already fly. Would you rather fight 100 T-Rexes that are the size of a rat or one rat that's the size of a T-Rex? 200 men the size of Chuck Liddell. <laughs> He's not going to play it. That would be an awful thing to do. Like the Matrix, it would be me versus like a million Mr. Andersons. <laughs> Clearly, you won the pickoff, so I give up. Well, you're not even gonna play the game. No, I am. I bought. I already spent sixty bucks. I spent three fifty on her. Yeah. I spent. Yeah. You gotta I, get them individually. From yeah, her. I would. I would do half of what's on here, but that's about. Market is slow this morning. I'm, ooh. Oh, we don't have one of those. How much, amigo? How much for the orange flowers? We don't have none of those. Yeah. Oh, how much for the marigolds? Did what? See. Si. That's three dollars. All right, let me get one. One. Actually, let me get two. Okay. It's okay. That one. See. Si. Uh, another good one. Oh, yeah, let me get that. Okay. Gracias. Have a good day. Thank you. All right, shout out to Benji's daughters for walking by and telling me those are marigolds so I don't look stupid. Thanks, sir. Oh, my God, is that a bear? It bit me. Oh, hi, bear. How much is the bear? All right. Guys, these smell so great. What do you guys think? Smell them. I think she'll like them. Um, for that one, forty-five for both. Yep. Yep.
Oh yeah, uh -huh. yeah but yeah. I know this is sterling. Yeah. So, oh. ah, so the, I, I, I say 350 for 50 all of for them. these, eh? Yeah, well, now, I, I give you, you, you buy like this because for this one I want 100, you know, yeah. you know for this one I want 40, 40. Uh -huh. And this is a sterling too. Yeah. So. All right, give me a minute here. Let me see, okay. so 350, huh? Yes. Can I see the red ring? Uh, is this one? Yeah, how much is that? No, I ask it 30. How much? 30. Oh, it's missing a stone. How much is the heart? Oh. I got 40 for the Yeah, I got them from my girlfriend. Nice. What is this supposed to be, you know? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Oh, okay, maybe it connects right there. No. Something's not right. Can I, see that, can I see that cross? Quantos? 30. I'll buy that. You have change for 100? You gave me an extra one. Thank you. God bless you, my gosh. I, I want 100 for that one. Oh, dang. <laughs> yeah. That is my husband. Where from is from uh, Cancun and he pay a lot. I, I know it's, you know, too much, but uh, I'm thinking to sell it or, or keep it. Yeah. 40 for that one. How much? 40. Give me 30. Right. How about 250 on these three? These three. Oh, for which one? These three. Oh. Ah! Oh, ¿Qué es? Oh! Por eso quiero 45, 45. More. Thank you. I'm sorry, for, 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 how much you say? 250 for these three. Give me 275. It latches a little bit. How about, oh. how about these two? 150 these two. Uh. <clears throat> Dang, that sucks. The latch is broken. You know, this is a sterling, so 200. This is sterling, you know. 200. I would buy that for the price if the latch wasn't messed up, but this yeah. hard. That makes it difficult. What's the price on just this one? This is the one. Oh, is that silver? No. 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 What, that one? 60. Stump. Alright. I stop by, back by next week. Maybe you have no more rings. Mm -hmm. I'll come early. Okay. How much is this one? Um, and, oh, that, that is mine. Actually, I, I put my mistake. This oh. is mine. Yeah, this is mine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Take care. Have a good day. Thank you. So, Pyrus, my day of filming that day was a little off. I was getting ready. It was a Sunday, and that was the same day we had my dad's uh, service for his um, passing and stuff. So I just wasn't in the, the greatest of elements, probably mentally. So I was just in there trying to do my shopping, get on the next thing. But we're going to do a recap of some of the stuff I bought. Um, I'm pretty excited.
So first off, the woman that was there sh selling, I never seen her before, but she had already had a bunch of cards out. And who knows, people probably pilfed some and stole from her, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm not even uh, that knowledge on cards. I bet I guess I'll be looking for a Mike Trout and something like this. But she seemed to be pretty knowledge, too. So would she have a Mike Trout in there? Like a rookie, I'm uncertain. Look, there's an autograph card. That's pretty crazy. If you like autographs, you should really check out the ones that we're going to see here in a minute. Um I don't know how I'm going to sell these. I'm guessing probably... I have a bunch of autograph cards. So I'm going to set that autograph card aside. And I'll probably just sell these by the box. Honestly, I don't even know because I have not even looked at them. I don't know what's in there. I kind of just... I thumbed through and I just... She gave a... She quoted off a fair price right off the bat. She said 25 a box. And so that intrigued me right off the bat. I don't think that's an autograph, but it sure looks... I don't know. First Bowman Crookie card. Yeah, I don't know. The only thing I know about newer baseball is Mike Trout is heavily sought after. I will probably sell these, each thing, just as they are. I'll start it at 25 because that is very reasonable for a box like this, in my opinion. There's, what, like 800 cards in a sleeve like this? And these seem to be all prospect-style players, right? Rookies, things of that nature. You tell me, would you have bought a... Would you, how would you have purchased something like this? Would you... I have a little bit of knowledge in sports because I'm far from an expert. I never claim to be an expert in anything either. So if you ever hear me think, pretend like I am or sound like I am, but probably maybe re-listen and like, oh, he was just kind of being uh, a wise guy because I'm not an expert at nothing. Every time I think I know something about something that I'm like super knowledge on, the universe reminds me why I'm not. <laughs> so uh, I'll try to be very humble. I know enough about cards where like when I first open a box and I see the sleeves, I'm in immediately intrigued. If you open it up and it looks like 89 Donruss or Tops, I tend to just walk away and I don't ask a price. And a lot of people get frustrated with me because uh, they think their cards are great. Like that's one of the things about cards is people often think that, oh, look, I saw, you know, they sold a Mickey Mantle for five million last week. These are all got to be good. So anyway, this is a, about the gist of what it is. It's a lot of cards like this. Would be nice to find a Mike Trout rookie in here, but I don't know. Once again, I'm having this is my first time even looking in here. But we got two more boxes just like that. I'm not going to sit here and bore you with just cards, 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 because I know a lot of people aren't exactly cards. But what I can tell you is this Thursday on my YouTube channel, Storage Auction Pirate, we will be going through these box by box. So I want to show you this other piece here. That's why I set this aside, because wait till you see... What's in here? This is freaking nuts right here. I'm not even gonna lie. This right here is like, I don't know because I didn't look them up and I could be just tripping, but I am pretty excited because how often do you find over 500 of these in one binder, let alone a one? I mean, they have, you, we'll see right now. Let's just get to it. Let's stop talking, Pirate. But look, over 500 freaking autographed cards. This is nuts in my opinion i don't know you guys help me out a little bit because i'll show i'll try to go through all these ones and see if there's any if anybody sticks out but look there's only 500 of these and that's autographed and it's just autograph 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 i need a giants or two if there's any in here i gotta pull them out because i need a little gift for my postman um wait a minute mr postman wait a minute mm -mm -mm. if you're watching postman don't forget, I'm going to give you one of these. So I, he actually watches my videos. Shout out to my postman. He's a really cool guy. I like him. And I don't really tell many people that I do this stuff, literally, that deals with me on a regular basis. I try to stay personal a little bit. Ooh, I just bought a name of somebody who, uh, that's their last name, and I just bought their storage unit. This is freaking crazy, though. Look, there's 54 pages of just autographs here. Every page has nine. She didn't double stack, which is good. She has things like 250 and three bucks written on the back. And that probably could be some of the value. And I know people seem to sign more these days than, than, than they used to back in the day because they make cards like this. This was rare when I was a kid to find CSMA type of cards that had autographs because people just autographed over regular cards. Nowadays, they're produced like this, right? Here's another Michael Bowden. Maybe I bought his storage unit? No. That would be nice to it. This is crazy, guys. 
thought that was Alex Rodriguez, maybe. Okay. Some good cards in here, I bet, though. I bet I bet these have some value. I mean, I figure they're worth at least a dollar a piece, right? They've got to be at least worth a dollar a piece. There's 500 and something of them. If there's 9 times 54, I forget. It was a little over 500, the exact number. I'll have to do, it, do the math again here in a second. But that in itself, I think, is worth a dollar a piece. There's no way that couldn't be, right? So I know I'm going to make money. Oh, there's a basketball one. That was different. These will be in an auction. Comment below. Do you think I should do this all in one binder? Should I break them up in sections of like 10 pages per group and see how that goes? This will probably do really well on eBay. I don't sell as much on eBay lately. I've been trying to save all my bestest stuff I can for y'all pirates. But at the same time, we do have to do eBay because that's our bread and butter. That's where the big, the big money comes in for us. Wow, this is crazy. It's crazy. That's my uh, that's my Wade's Ventures impersonation. Shout out to my buddy Wade. Look at this, guys. Oh, there's a blank page. That one looks kind of cool. That one's... So we got a couple here that are not signed, those ones, but they are probably cool cards because they oh that one's a ucla bruins a little bit of uh what do they call those game used pieces oh there's some game used here i know i didn't count a couple of these pages when i did my math this is cool so yeah i kind of got lucky i paid 300 for this binder look at this page here that is tight collegiate autographs um i paid 300 for this binder and 75 so i gave her 375 for all the cards very fair i didn't really bargain i think i tried to talk her down 25 bucks and she agreed to but then when she gave me the change she didn't give it to me and i just said screw it like i'm not gonna argue so yeah that's a wrap on that that's pretty cool what do you think would you have just handed 375 over for all those cards because i think that that is a heck of a deal for these type of cards, my opinion. Deal on all this stuff, I don't know. I get sometimes coins are hit or miss, but they're getting more scarce to find too. So these are pretty cool sets. They're all mint proofs, various years. I think I paid $8 each for these. Very nice proof sets. Coins are pretty hot right now, I can tell you that. So, some of them are even nicer than the others, though. And I don't know what the difference is between purple and green. There is. I think it may be the mint mark. I could be wrong, if you could tell me. So we got three in the purple, and we got three in the green. Look at that. Oh, we got a fourth purple. Nice. 1987. That was a year. Then we paid 30 for this one. I don't know if I overpaid on some of these, but they are silver. That is a silver proof set, 1998, with a quarter and a dime that are silver, and then the penny and the nickel are not. They are an S mint mark. I think that's a pretty good deal. My purchase point on this one, which is again was a good deal, was $20. This is like an ounce of silver and then another coin. Um, this... Boom, look at that. 1986. I paid 20 for that one. Again, these will all be in the coming auction here on my channel. Storage Auction Pirate. So if you do like these coins, don't forget to check it out. I'll have a, a members-only video that'll do a preview, too, of the other items. But this is just the reveal. Look at that bad boy right there. Olympiad Liberty. Another silver dollar. I think I got lucky on that one and paid 20 this was my most expensive item from her, and it was $40. Why did I overpay on this one? No, I didn't overpay. That was a great deal. Look at that. We got a silver coin, and let me see if this was... When I say overpay, I mean, like, they naturally, you want to get a deal, right? The idea is to make money, not buy something and sell it for 
more. So I'm trying to be frugal. I don't bargain. I just try to pay what people really want for their, what, the, what their price is or I don't buy. So you have composition is silver and nickel. So I don't know which one that would be. The Liberty Composition, the San Francisco Proof, Mount Rushmore. Okay, not bad. I don't know which coins are which, but Mount Rushmore, silver dollar and half dollar. Okay, the silver dollar and half dollar. Okay, I see what you're saying. Now. I'm not really a coin expert. I just try to uh, allocate things in my shopping that I think everybody enjoys. I'll always have people asking for more coins. We have another green one, so I'll probably do that and that is a lot, if you're curious. Maybe we'll double up. Let's see what else. Ooh, we got silver. Look at that. I, that was a great deal. See, this one is a great deal, because last time I found some of these, I had to pay like uh, 25 for them. No, I had to pay 35 for them, I think. But these are the double sets too. See how it's silver proof, so that's silver, silver. Then you got the gold, and then these are four silver quarters, five silver quarters. That is a good deal. I think I scored on that, so I know I have definitely got some profit margin there. Then you have proof sets. I think I definitely paid 10 on these and 10 on these. Where I bargained with her on that was, wasn't there one that she wanted 15 for? Maybe there wasn't. Was that last week? Another one of those sets, but 2004. See how she wanted 30 on this one. It was kind of weird. So I think I ended up getting this one for, I think I paid her for that price. I think I did. And the same here. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. I try not to bargain. I know it's a cold world and you got to make money. Every now and then I will do some bargaining. But as a reseller, if you are if you have to deal with that and you are and you are irritated just the same, but you do it, you're just asking for it. And I, I don't like, I think it's tacky when people like, they like brag about, oh, I beat them down. Like, that's an old, that was an old man. You're just over there. He's trying to make some money to pay his PG&E with the stuff he's accumulated over his life. And you're beating him down and you're already making like, okay, here's an example. If you have a pile and that pile is worth $100, right? And they say 10. If you say anything back instead of just giving that person the 10 because it's already enough profit on the table, um, that's not right. That's just my opinion. That's, that's not right. I mean, I know a lot of people can say pirate. It's, you're a pirate. You should be cold. But that's not. It's like it's a give and take world, right? I don't know. I'm weird like that. I'm weird. Here's another great box I think we bought the day before, but we're going to go through and check this out too because I've yet to do that. I went pretty hard on this and I got them for 300 bucks. They're pretty nice comics, I think, and they're all older. So here we got an Action Comics, a Batman. Wow, that one says 250 bucks. I don't have to look that up. And that one says 360. Okay, I'm thinking he did not meant to put those, uh, the bags in. They're just in a bag. So we got Marvel Tales Spider-Man, Karate Kid, Kung Fu Fighter, The New Titans, World's Finest, to number 264, some big ones, World's Finest, okay, Action Comics there. Um, let's see here. We also have Plastic Man. I used to watch this cartoon. That's crazy. Superman. Lois Lane, number 126. Why, Lois? Aquaman. Batman. 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 Who doesn't like a good Batman? Green Lantern. Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four. Guys, so far, uh, uh, Pirates of Power Quick, so Batman came in. Um, would you have paid 300 for these comics? So many of them. Defenders. Wow, look at that. Defenders, that sounds like a good one. Ooh, World's Finest again. Champions, there's a lot of, what do you call these, Silver Age, Gold Age? I don't know. I just know they're old. We got a whole box still to go through. 
Justice League, Flash, Super Family. Um, oh, yeah. Look at that. Iron Man. Pretty decent shape. Thor. Who don't like a good Thor? Oh, I never seen that one. Beware the Spider Woman. Beware. Beware. Bum, 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 bum. Nice. I think it's some good stuff here. This is just nice. I like the style. I like the 35 centers. Who doesn't like a good 35 centers? Spider Man. Tyranny. The Defenders. The Defenders. It's like little Defenders area. Okay, we got into. That was a 40 center. And I'm back to 35 centers. Def oh, look at that. Oh, that's a good one. I like the cover on that. A lot of good art. Oh, look. It's Magneto, right? He seems to have a lot of movies out right now. Defenders. A lot of Hulk. Daredevil. Superman. Jonah Hex. I've never seen that one. Look at that flash. Number 20. No, 259. Number two. Shade the Changing Man. Okay. There's number eight. The Avengers. Incredible Hulk. Number 243. Number 239, number 215, number 230, number 207, number 15. All right, that's another little good pie. All right, we're going to do this this way now. Maybe make it a little bit easier and just give you a rough idea. Spider-Woman number nine, the return of the new gods, defenders. Look at this, a bunch. That one says 40 cents. That's crazy. You can't find a comic book for 40 cents anymore. Marvel, Captain Marvel's, Mr. Miracle. Okay. The Defenders. We've got a lot of Defenders here. Um, yeah, like almost a whole collection of those. Be nice to find Defenders number one. See if Bob made any big mistakes. Oh, yeah. Peter Parker. What is this one? Spectacular Peter Parker, number nine, 30 cents. I'll have to look that one up. First time ever in a color comic, Marvel's most controversial creation, The White Tiger Strikes. I might have to look that one up just to see. The ones when they have the, the first time ever, those are good ones, like somebody's first appearance, Howard the Duck. I saw that being filmed. That's crazy. You got... Commandi, Commandi, Commandi. A lot of Commandi. I've never heard of this one. At least I got a good deal, I think. I think there's over 300 comics here, and I did pay 300 bucks. It's a little more than I would like to pay for comics, but they are a little older than normal, too. They're not just a lot of new ones. And everybody out there seems to like comic books a lot lately, so I'm trying to bring y'all what you like. World's finest. There we go. World's finest. World's finest. Nice. An Iron Man Invincible, the Hour of Golden Doom. Nice, nice, nice. Com Mi Miracle, Mr. Miracle. That's the way should change Uncle Michael's name to. Uncle Michael, did they make a comic book after you? Holy smokes. Aquaman, Justice League. There we go. I like that one. Somebody got married. Justice League again. Justice League again. The new Captain Marvel. The, uh, that's a cool one. Flash, Flash, 100 Yard Dash. The Amazing Spider-Man, number 208. Okay, I like that. There's some, there's some really good comics here, I think. They're not like... They're not, there's not like, uh, I'm not seeing like $700 comics, but I'm seeing a lot of decent prices here. Wow. The real Batman dies next. Look at that. Comics are kind of like gruesome a little bit, huh? Don't you think? They're a little bit, whoa. Il Mitico. Thor in Spanish. That's kind of crazy. The Green Lantern. The Flash. 
I want to see those a little up close here too, because I've never seen that before. World's finest Superboy. Oh my God. Yeah, look at all oh, the Teen Titans. We went backwards a little bit. What? Oh, let's see. I like the cover that one's in. That's different. Superman. Yeah, buddy. All right. There's almost show, too many to even show all y'all. I'm going to probably get bored of all of them. All stars. All stars. This is great. I just like the covers. I think it'd be kind of cool if you had the right man cave. You just had a whole bunch of the right covers. You liked all framed properly. That'd be kind of a cool thing to go across. You know, like some people do them in half. Ooh, Tales of the Submariner, number one. That could be a good one. I have to take a look at that. Ooh, 15 center. I like to just look stuff up. You know, I'm not going to sell a, a five. I don't like to sell a $500 comic without at least saying, hey, guys, this one's pretty nice. You want to look this one up. I mean, it's just a standard thing, I guess. Batman. I think I've sold that one before. And another one, 502. Look at that. Well, great. It is pretty nice. I'm going to have to do some more looking up, though. Ooh, 9.6. I don't think I have a 9.6, but dang. Did I kind of score on that one? Let's, let's go down here. Let's try to get to a little more reasonable. Let's try to find it ungraded. That is a five. That's not freaking bad. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. I think we kind of scored on that one. That might. I would say this one, actually, I might have to put on eBay. This might actually pay for my... Oh, wait a minute. This thing is in really good shape, to be honest with you. Boom. Guys, I think that's a jackpot. Come on. I say the word jackpot. That's my favorite word. That's what I, I, I hunt for. And the words of my good buddy Cheeseburger. That's a jackpot. Okay? I think that is a jackpot. 1979. Good amount of variety. Oh, Wonder Woman number 163. Let's take a look at that one. I don't know what to look up when it comes to comics. What I only thing I know is I want to look for like a first appearance a low number, et cetera. And I don't even know what a first appearance is going to look like in most of them. So you have to leave, leave, read the words. That's why I set the one with the wolf aside because it said first appearance in color. But I could be letting very expensive comics slip through without even knowing, just the same way Bob did to me here. Dang, they just keep coming. Look at this. Fantastic Fours. A lot of them. Cole. Fist, fisty. Hmm. Sword of Sorcery number two. Let's take a look at that one. Sword of Sorcery number three. Sword of Sorcery number five. Sword of Sorcery number three. Okay, it doesn't seem so special now, does it? Coal number nine. Coal number nine. There's another number two. Oh, so maybe you do like a run. See, sort of sorcery number one. I don't know if that's really worth much, but let's take a look. Fantastic four, fantastic four. And the last little bit of them is... It's just some comics. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at this at all. I know I have one comic that I think pays for everything. And again, that makes that a jackpot. I think it's safe to say that a uh, pirate might not be a boy wonder, but uh, it sure is a wonder how he hits them jackpots. All right. I think that wraps up the recap of all the great stuff that I think I bought at my picking this weekend between Saturday and Sunday. Recap both of them kind of, but... Most of that will be, if not all of it, will be in the auction. We probably can't get through everything because look what else we found. If you missed the previous video, we scored all this amazing silver picking. We scored all of this amazing silver picking in, in our last flea market. We even have this gold. Look at that. That is diamonds. Some really high quality diamonds, what I'm told as well. And we got that gold there and we got this silver. So that will also be in the auction this week. Not to mention other pretty gems. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button. It's very important because it helps the activity. Um, share this out if you can and uh, say something pretty. <sighs>